the worst. I want to be in Emory. <laughs> I've never really camped in the wild next to other people. So even watching these guys right there. Carlos is super into them. Well, there's like five dogs down there, so he's really into them. We weren't going to film anything tonight, but this is incredible. He is glued. He is. He's like, there are dogs down there. Boy, Carlos, he. Good boy. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. We're Brian, Marisha, and Carlos. And today we're exploring a spot that was unknown to us until now. Welcome to Utah's Goblin Valley. Good morning. Morning. From San Rafael Reef Wilderness. Yep, in Utah. We're headed down to do a trail in Arizona. Made a pit stop thanks to our neighbors the Crispies, uh, who told us to check out uh, this spot in Utah. So we're psyched to check it out with you guys. And last night... Oh, fixing my hair. He was... <laughs> <Don't mind. laughs> That's happened before. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a little bit of a rooster going. Uh, I had really nice hair yesterday, and Brian said we should have filmed this last night because my hair looked good. So, Marish, <laughs> do you want to do the opening? No. Let's do the opening. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah. But we Instead, did Instead. First thing in the morning with barking dogs and everything else going on. Yeah. We wanted to show you our very serene <laughs> campsite. This is our really, really cool camp find. And it's supposedly about not even five minutes, not even a mile outside of where we're going to go exploring this morning. Carla, we have some neighbors in. down there in the valley. It's actually the first time the dogs barked. Yeah, well, they're playing. So Carlos is very into what's going on down really there. really want to get in on it. There's about five dogs down there just having a party and he's very upset that he can't be there. We'll see you at our, what are we gonna call this today? Yeah, our recommendations, our secret location. Yeah, <laughs> okay, we'll see you there. <laughs> we're taking off from our awesome campsite and today we're gonna go check out Goblin Valley. <laughs> Sounds scary. I think they look like trolls to me, but nope. we'll Gobl let you decide. Goblin Valley. Well, it's the official name. That's what you have to call it. All right, Goblin Valley. Goblin Valley. Uh, in Utah. Never been here before. And you can camp in the park, but you're in a campground and it probably costs money. If you want to free camp right across the road from the road to the entrance. So I think we're only maybe like a mile out or something. Not even, I don't think. There is tons of free BLM camping i mean there are i can see just right here like five campers there's three vans camped right next to us down there in the little valley but they're all spread out no one really yeah you're not getting mixed up with anyone else unless you want to walk yeah. down and say hi and if you wanted to be alone you just drive further down the the road in we parked i mean we can see the road from here so we're pretty close to it this is a great spot to camp we're gonna see you uh in goblin valley so the roads are Fine. A little sandy. Yeah, a little sandy, but pretty hard pack underneath. Yep. What month is it, Marish? November 4th. And the temperature was lovely. It's 50 degrees right now. It's 8.20 in the morning. We got the 68 yeah, during it was the day. High 60s yesterday, but look how beautiful. It actually looks like a smaller version of uh, Alabama Hills mm -hmm. in some spots. Mm -hmm. So right at the end of our road, is the entrance to Goblin Valley. So instead of going left into Goblin Valley, you take a right on the dirt road. Yeah. And that's where the camping is. And it follows, there's a little, I don't know if you call this a mountain range, I don't know what you call this, flat top range kind of situation. Yeah, bubble gum rocks. Just follow that range up and you can park right in the front of it with random spots. Tons of spots. Yeah. Also on the actual road, paved road to Goblin Valley Park. There are all these turnoffs and there are tons, I don't know if you can see that, but there are tons of people camping right off this road too. So you're even closer to the park. And this is all free as well, free camping. Yeah, I think technically you're in the park here, but then where everyone wants to hike around. Is where you pay. We'll let you know how far, much further that is because we don't really know for sure. I think it might be over seven miles in. Yeah. And yep. then I think, I think you have to pay at that point, but we'll, we'll let you know. 
There's a goat lope with one horn. Oh, there's another one right there. I know, that's what I was waiting to cross, dude. It's pretty chill. These guys are chill here. They are. They see a lot of people, maybe. In Utah's San Rafael Desert lies a landscape filled with goblin-like sandstone hoodoos. Goblin Valley is a state park, so there is a day-use fee to enter. If you choose to sleep within the park, there is an established campground, or you can rent one of the many yurts on site. Mm -hmm. Someone is not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goblin Valley is one of Utah's hidden gems. It is located on the edge of the San Rafael Swell, a 75-mile-long geological feature of sandstone, shale, and limestone that was pushed up over 50 million years ago. First named Mushroom Valley, the area is a showcase of geologic history. Due to the uneven hardness of the sandstone, Water and wind erosion work together to create the goblin-like formations. Due to its secluded location, it has virtually no light pollution and was deemed an official dark park, one of the darkest night skies on Earth, offering unparalleled views of the Milky Way. They're big, the Marie. They're big. They're big. Ooh, cool. Let's go this way. Surrounded by goblins, Marie. <laughs> they are. These are so cool. Look at this freaky one. Great place to have a festival. Yeah. Look at all the color of the rocks in here. Looks like uh, fruity pebbles. <laughs> Yummy. I would have said that way. Yeah, see the green? Yeah. Off the trail down to here, and then we came up here. And... There's a reason I'm not running the map. Van is that way. Yeah, I thought it was that the... way. Marisha's van is over <laughs> here, though. It is. I'll bet you a million dollars it's over there. Yeah. All right. I think the van's behind that. We'll see. Everyone take a look at the green hump right there. Green and hump. We'll show you the green hump when we're at the van. Mm. That's the three kings right there, Marisha. <laughs> Ruining my pano. <laughs> and then that's the Easter Islands over there. Mm -hmm. You call that the crab claw, Marie. <laughs> it's starting to run out of places. Oh, over here. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. All right. Well, that... I thought you were going to jump. Carlo, see, you could easily jump that. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Nope. All right, Brian was right. I was wrong. It's a reason I don't hike alone. <laughs> Look at this mushroomy one. Right there in front of you. I see it. Would you like to gloat now or later? I don't know. I see something over there. <laughs> What's off to your left? Nothing. I'm just saying. The green hill is right there. You can see it just peeking out. Oh, uh, right there. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I already said you were right. You were really questioning my... my oh, 100%. Uh, my credibility. 100%. My credibility. I would have gone deeper... And deeper. Deeper into the goblin territory and... Never to return. Never, ever to return, because Carlos drank all the water. See you on milk cartons. <laughs> In and around the area. Uh-huh. Well, thanks to Brian, we found our way back to the van. We highly recommend checking out this great park in Utah. We're working our way south and hit some weird and fun attractions on the way to our next adventure, the Arizona Peace Trail. 
which we're still processing whether or not we should have even taken the van on it. So don't miss next week as we start the next chapter of highs, lows, and unknowns. See you next time. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Adventure is calling.